catch me because we're all over. And beyond the mayhem and monster, it's said that a nationwide network of satanic criminals exists. Start with the warped and wicked Charles Manson. It's everything that human beings that don't understand. It's all their fears. It's what they're not sure of. You dig what I'm saying? Satan to me would be God. Well, the demented son of Sam Killer, David Berkowitz. These and others purportedly linked to the devil worship underground. Who is Satan? Satan. Yes, Satan. It's all over the United States and probably all over the world because it's just something that people are experimenting with now. Impossible to measure. Easy to doubt. The very mention of it invites ridicule. Come out. No. I won't let her go. No. Often the choice is to avoid confronting. Ignore it. Find other explanations or laugh it off. That is not the choice we have made tonight. We have chosen to ask why. Via satellite, we'll be asking the youngest person on Oklahoma's death row, just 17 when he killed in the name of Satan, why he murdered his own parents. And to Southern California, where we will ask the parents of children in the notorious McMartin Preschool why they claim their kids were satanically abused. And to London, where rock star Ozzy Osbourne will tell us why he feels he and heavy metal music are getting a bum rap. And to the state penitentiary in Angola, Louisiana, to ask convicted killer Charles Gervais why he thought the devil would award him 10,000 souls. The Investigative News Group presents the Geraldo Rivera Special. Devil. All of us know that life is not safe. Every day we face the possibility of crime and disease and accidents and disasters. So here comes Satanism, which most of us would like to write off as harmless antics by some lunatic fringe. A few years ago, maybe, but not now. We have seen that Satanism can be linked to dope and to pornography, child abuse, and to murder. It has led seemingly normal teenagers into monstrous behavior. They preach mysticism. Other people, however, practice evil, and that is why we brought you this report tonight. I'd like to thank all of our guests, especially those we did not have a chance to get to. I'm Geraldo Rivera, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you next time. Good night. I wish I had listened to the music. I wish I had thrown it out. I wish I had gone to school and talked to him, um, talked to his friends' mothers. Maybe they saw some things that I didn't see. Maybe if we put them together, we could have come up with something. I don't know. But I, I just think setting back and assuming that every, you know, this is teenagers' life, when you see things like that, I know for a fact is wrong. I think that my son believed in Satan. In fact, he has said to me that he did believe in Satan. He believed in the power of Satan. He believed if he served Satan, that Satan would in give him something in return for his servitude. It's all false, man. It's, it just leads to your own destruction. Look where I'm at, you know, look at my sentence. I mean, I'm in, I'm in jail with life without parole.